wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. When I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down like, why all these brothers got to wear a dress? Time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why? I'm trying to, uh, trying to make it. You just start wondering how many niggas really need to wear that dress. Why are you bashing me? And then he was trying to warn me, you know, don't get in the dress. And why is it so important? <laughs> and they tell you shit like, but it's funny, is it? They come in, it's the writer comes in, I think he's the writer, he's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a prostitute, <laughs> and he put this dress on, and it, huh? Many of you already know her, she's a 68-year-old pistol-packing grandma who is quickly becoming box office goal. You know her from last year's smash hit, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. But he is a drag queen. And now she's firing up the big screen again in Medea's family reunion. Let's be very honest, a drag queen is somebody who works in drag. <laughs> Do you know who Medea is, sir? Y'all tell Beyonce if you see her to stop biting all my stuff. She be stealing all my ideas and everything, my fashion. That's a nigga in that dress, sir. That's not nobody's grandma. Oh. This nigga is only funny when he's playing a bitch. They got Tyler Perry dressed up like Medea. Seen Eddie Murphy to do something sweeter. Rasputin dress and drag, they might mute ya. Wasn't fond of Jamie Foxx playing Wanda. Rather see Flex play a father to his daughter. Not homophobic, man. I'm just saying. Kim played less female roles in the wings, and I understand brothers trying to get that work, but why Cuban Gooding stayed dancing in a skirt? Superheroes turn feminine. Why I don't have a clue? Wesley Snipes went from Blade to Two on Food. Played the fifth on Will Smith. Chris Tucker, RuPaul, Keenan Thompson. To play them all, we'll be Goldberg in the show. Till leaders, drill team, flip rules and drill day. See, low got success when he put on a dress. Damn man, let me tone it down. I don't mean to yell, but love when they should pale. Told him go to hell. 50 cent soldier boy, cover of that XL. Watch all those images you put down on your set. Honestly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Ah! Okay, so technically this story doesn't have anything to do with me. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But Dave Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. And until we deal with that, until we deal with um, <laughs> the fact that a devout Muslim who doesn't eat bacon was accused of being a crackhead. And, uh, huh? Until we until we <laughs> establish the fact that they said that he went to Africa to smoke cocaine, huh? When we know they don't have running water and food over there, when they don't have paved roads over there, you saying he flew past Chicago and Miami, and L.A. and New York and Detroit? You saying he went past Cleveland and Fort <laughs> Pierce, Florida, and he went past Okeechobee and Oakland? You All saying he went to another there. country yeah, where they got right. right. You talking about somebody who has a wife and children, five children, and lives on a farm, doesn't live here in Hollywood. You saying you oh, convinced yeah. people that person wow. was an insane crackhead? That should have been in the discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. 
All the greats have done it. I meant this in the nicest way possible, man. You know? <coughs> I mean, uh... Hand that off these fake-ass bitches. Most of these niggas be bitches, too, but you don't never hear that side of the story. So, uh, we finna do this shit like this. And he hasn't been on movies and TV for eight years. Is that correct? Wow. Okay, then don't tell me about what you want to tell me about. I just watched you decapitate the king in front of me. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We we're supposed to shoot. Every, every minute your waist costs this much money. Then when he made $500 million... God. They said even though his contract said he should get half of it, they said he made too much for the contract to be valid. So we'll offer you 10% of what you made. You no, know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm now nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Burrow? You know, we're going like this. You mean he made 500 million and they offered him 50? Yes. And he said, what do you think my fans are going to say? When they find out you offered me 10% of what I made you, and they said your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. And then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves, and then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this, uh, Brokeback Mountain in here? So, <laughs> so then... <laughs> And my nigga got on the flight in L.A. And by the time he got to Ohio, it was wow. so. And eight years later, he hasn't been in a movie and or television. Is just now trying to do his real comeback. Wear the, wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, oh, gosh. This guy's so difficult. I mean, and then I started thinking about it. all the comics that I've seen. Man, you know, strong brothers. Why, why are they putting us in these dresses? But the minute it was clear, I was adamant. I'm not wearing a dress. I'm not wearing the dress. All right, fine. Think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later. The whole new scene. How, damn, how did you write the scene so fast? So now you can be the fake king or you can be the real king. Because I've never been the funniest person on the planet at any point. But now Dave Chappelle has always been funnier than me. You know, it's like, so you got to take a stand. I've always been aware of who was funnier than me. I've just also been aware of who wasn't. I know, they're probably going to uh. kick my ass. It was a negative changing point, to be honest. Okay. Positive in a way where the perception of, of my image was on every bus, but my personal life was, was in shambles in that time. It was horrible. So Big Mama was a changing point. Yeah. 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 It was like my life, was just, it, 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 it was hell from there. My personal life was in shambles, but my career... It was at the, at its at at its height, I believe. As at, at it was right. it was going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was like, it was hacky, you know. And I did it for I did it purely for the money and the work of Martin Lawrence. Yeah. So I didn't do it for the purity of comedy, but I did it for the purity of work with Martin. But I believe that it wasn't. It was still more than money. Like, damn, I'm gonna get a big check, you know. Yeah. So. The Awakened brand, and you couldn't pay him a trillion dollars to get a dress. Every night I say, Jesus, yeah, boy. if I have strayed from what you wanted me to do, that is not what I had planned for the day. That's right. I think they did the same thing like to Tupac. When they you too real, they start looking at you like, hold on. How'd this slip past us? Who's this guy? You know what? Yeah, he might be a kid. Just put him in the dress. The Lord, if you see Satan, would you tell him I said he ain't shit? Uh, Fuck him in his dirty, stank, AIDS-infested asshole, Jesus. Would you tell him that? But me, for my God and my culture, my ancient culture, we just never, we didn't do stuff like that. You tell him that when I see him, I spit in his face every time I see him. 
If he jump in another motherfucker, I want that motherfucker. I was cursed by it. I believe it was a curse that went with that, personally, because nothing went right since then. Satan ain't shit. Atheist ain't shit. Satan ain't shit. Atheist ain't shit. Satan ain't shit. That's truthful. No one can tell me, hey, man, you think it too much, man. You see what I mean? Can't... Everything went wrong. Just like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. I'm telling you, I lived it. Yeah. Well, I don't want you to think I don't like people. I like people fine. I just don't like people that sell people shit. But then can't tell them the truth. Even Martin, things went wrong when he did it too. Because Martin is very anointed. Martin is a very okay. strong man. And Stage Spell said that too. Seems kind of fucked up to me that you could be a famous entertainer and make billions and billions of dollars. But the one thing you can't do is tell the truth. Honestly, I think it's a spiritual thing, but I, everyone has their own journey. I can only speak for my journey. Once I put the dress on and I had that fire, that fire was put out. Yeah. And I only did it one time. So imagine doing it three times, four times. But then Tyler Perry did it, he got stronger. I don't know the rules. When I put on a dress, it came with a, 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 a demon baby mama and a starter kit for, for hell. That's what happened to me. Some of us are against the Illuminati, and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them. Nobody likes him. But I love her dearly. <laughs> <laughs> Next to her is what we call Miss Thing. Love and affection, <laughs> as all of us know. <laughs> well, he hasn't let us down yet, has he? <laughs> we, we've been uh, friends a long time, and uh, uh, I, I sure wish you'd return my red handkerchief because <laughs> my wife been wondering where it was. <laughs> I hope it still has her perfume scent on it. <laughs> but really, uh, Paul, it, it's really been a pleasure working with you because we worked together many years ago on the Red Fox show. We started writing together, and we walked into the office with the white man, and Paul didn't, uh, didn't, uh, didn't, uh, what he did was sucked his dick. <laughs> I must say, Paul had a sense of humor. He didn't let him come in his mouth. <laughs> but, 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 but seriously. <laughs> uh, Paul wrote most of the dialogue for everybody up here tonight. And he's, a, he's a brilliant writer. And, uh, we went once uh, to... Uh, uh, what was that man's name that we went to and we had to fight? Produ the producer. The producer, Bill the producer, the Bill. Shelton Leonard. Yeah. Shelton Leonard. We walked in his office. We was there for an hour together. And Shelton Leonard picked our brains and, and he said, uh, thank you and, and you can leave now. And I asked for the money. <laughs> and, and Paul said, uh, don't, no, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> don't get us in no trouble now. <laughs> I threatened to kick his ass, and Paul tried to join him. <laughs> but, but, but we're dear friends, and uh, this is all in fun. <laughs> next, I'd like... <laughs> next, the next, uh, just don't tell him about Maropasa. Next, uh, next, uh, next I move... Uh, Paul was with me once when I first fucked my first faggot. <laughs> And he's been holding that over my head for two years. I fucked a faggot. I just want to say it now so nobody else can tell. 